Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph. Today's video is another super exciting one. It is a collab with my dear friend Marina. Um, you will find Marina's channel and video linked in the description box below. So go check her out, she's amazing. Marina very, very kindly gifted me this palette. Oh my god, I'm so incredibly, incredibly grateful. Thank you so much, Marina. Of course, this is the Odenzai and Judy collab. Um, apologies, I don't know who Judy is. I am gonna make a point of checking her out. Um, but this is the Red Dragon palette and uh, yeah, this is what it looks like on the outside. <laughs> and then this is the color story. So guys, if you would like to hear more about Marina, see how I created this look, hear what my first thoughts are on the Red Dragon palette, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so the first shade I'm going in with today is Dragon. I hope you can see that even print. How beautiful is that? That's beautiful. Um, the mirror is a little bit too small for me to um, to use, so I'm going to be using my handheld mirror, the same one I always do. And I'm going to, oh, I'm using one of these Architude Cosmetics brushes, um, it comes in the set, it's amazing, I love them. And I'm taking that through my crease and a little above. beautiful shade. I have the um, palette collab with Annette um, which is beautiful so I am fully fully expecting to to love this. Um, but I am so incredibly fortunate to have this thanks to the wonderful Marina who of course is my partner in this collab. She contacted me to say that she had two and would I like one? I was like, oh my god, thank you. And when she sent it, she also added in some Swedish chocolate and sweets and oh my god, they were so good. So good. She is just one of the kindest people ever. And I only discovered that Marina had um, a channel, like her own channel, when she collabed with Erica. Um, I knew Marina from I think, other people's comment sections and she's been a subscriber to my channel for a long time and when I found out she had her own channel I was like, oh my god. So shortly after um, it was a three-way collab, so there was me, Marina and Erica, and it was so much fun. I couldn't tell you how long ago it was because my memory is shocking, absolutely shocking. Um, but Marina is just one of the nicest people to talk to, she has got an amazing sense of humour. Um, a really really good sense of humor and she has me cracked up so often I love her videos because they are so calming the way she talks is so calming and I love watching her videos and if you haven't checked Marina out already if you don't know who she is you're missing out like seriously missing out because she is amazing. If you are looking for people over 40 who love colourful makeup, who don't agree with this whole grow old gracefully crap, then uh, Marina's definitely one of the people you should be watching. She does some absolutely stunning looks. I will pop a few up throughout the video here so that you can see uh, what kind of makeup she does and I love it. So yes, 
that is how how I discovered that Marina had a channel. Okay, so for the well, to deepen up the outer area, I am going in with fire, which is this shade here. And I haven't even swatched this palette. I have saved it for this video, so it's a complete first impression. So yeah, when uh, Marina said she was posting me this uh, this palette, I said we really should collab with it. And it's taken us a bit to sort it out, mostly on my part because I have brain like a sieve and I mean to do things, they just don't always get done, um, especially these days. Um, which is another thing that kind of brought me and Marina closer. I think she knows what it's like to live with pain. Um, and I know recently she's been in a lot of pain. So she gets it. She's just a wonderful person anyways. I don't think this is going to deepen it as much as I want, so I will probably go in with that dark brown, um, but we shall see. It might have been better to do the dark colour, or the darker colour first, but... Yeah, I am super excited to see what, what look Marina does with this palette, because we're both... Well, I want to say different, but not, if that makes sense, in the looks that we do. Um, we both have slightly different colour preferences, but then doesn't everyone? So I am super excited um, to see what she does. We did decide on just doing our own thing with it rather than doing a, a palette bingo or, or whatever, because I think it's whilst doing the palette bingos is amazing for kind of getting you to think outside the box and maybe try colors that you wouldn't usually and color combinations that you wouldn't usually i think it's also sorry i'm going back in with the brush i used for dragon <laughs> um i think it's also nice sometimes just to see other people's interpretation of the palette as a whole and the colour story as a whole and the combinations that they see just by looking at the palette. Now I know I've probably gone for a pretty pretty obvious um why can't I think? A pretty obvious obvious colour combination so far. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Right, I am going to go in with Aurora, which is the deepest shade there. And I didn't say what the last brush was. That was a Spectrum A12. And now I'm going in with a Morphe, it has no name or number, but it's like a little stubby kind of brush. So yes, let's see if we can, oh, this is more like it for deepening. I might have to go over with the red a bit though, because I don't really want brown. Um, so yeah, colour combinations, I think, is this actually brown brown? Or is it slightly red? I'm not sure. I think it is brown brown. My eye for colour is not the best, because, well, <laughs> as all of you know, <laughs> are not new and Danielle you will be sat there saying I haven't got a clue I am terrible at explaining colour describing colours uh, Danielle recently told me that it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't say that at least once <laughs> um, so yeah I am terrible but you can see for yourself um, how beautiful they look. I'm actually not minding this brown at all. 
with this red it just kind of goes okay I like a brown that's not something you will hear me say very often but yeah I like this and I'm liking the direction this is going in I do love red I don't often do red lips like at all but I'm just going to go back in with a bit of dragon just to go over these edges and make sure these all blended nicely together which it most certainly is look how easy they blend I do love Odin's Eyes formula a lot I've completely forgotten what I was talking about I got a bit caught up in just how how easy these are blending and how beautiful these colours are. Okay, I'm going to go back in with Fire, which was the second shade. I'm just going to pat that kind of over that deeper shade. Kind of add some more red. Oh. Yeah, this look is coming together so beautifully. So I'm going to dip between the two, Fire and Aurora now. And I'm going with the both of them. Okay, so just taking the first brush again, just to make sure the blend is or just make sure it's really well blended <laughs> oh i've got to try and make things more difficult for myself haven't i are any of you guys like that too it should be an easy task but by the time you finished overthinking it and over analyzing it becomes a much bigger more difficult task I am first going in with Amber and I am thinking that I know what I want to do so let's see so this I am taking on the just very out part, outer part of the lid don't think I'm going to be needing setting a spray or spray Or do I? So I am actually going to spray my brush because I want to see if this pops that bit more, which I'm fully expecting it to. Yeah. That is very pretty. I do absolutely love Odin's eyes formula the shimmers are always just so metallic and beautiful what well, from what I've tried so far anyways apologies there's still work going on down the road so there's a lot of uh, a lot of workmen back and forth which is upsetting Poppy um because they've parked everything just opposite our house so whenever they want to get something they are slamming doors and yeah i didn't say what brush that was did i um that was just a morphe kind of flat brush it has no name or number and then this one is from Artitude cosmetics and it doesn't have a name it's part of the set though right i am now going in with luna this shade oh gosh it looks red i think you can see the shift when i do that i think they agreed um so again i have sprayed my brush and 
this one is going over the rest of my eye, my eyelid. Oh yeah, you can see that shift. I'm just going to build it up a bit more. This is such a beautiful shade. That is so nice. I can't wait to see what shades Marina chooses to create her look with. There's so many just really special, really beautiful shades in this palette. And Bizarrely, kind of out of the three um, palettes, just by seeing like pictures and videos online, it doesn't capture kind of the beauty. This is definitely one of those palettes that you, you need to see in person to appreciate its true beauty. So I'm going to go in with the Spectrum A12, the one I used for the kind of mid shades um, and also mixed with the both so I'm just going to just go over the edge there they're so just going in with Aurora now the deepest and then fire to kind of blend into okay and then back in with the first brush again just to make sure everything's blended nicely i'm not worried about kind of this bottom bit here because i am going to go in and clean that up before doing my base okay right so i want to try for my inner corner i am going to go in with solar flare and i'm taking that and i'm taking that on a cracked pencil brush i'm giving it a quick spray and let's see what this baby does oh I like that a lot that's got such a beautiful shift it's kind of like a, a pinky red to green shift I don't know how well that is going to show on camera but that is beautiful so I'm just dragging it kind of into the look a little bit the shade is oh, it is everything this might just be my favourite shade in this palette so far anyway. Out of the ones I've tried, or is it? I'm not sure. There's some absolutely gorgeous special shades here. Uh, this is no exception to that. I'm just dragging it into the first part of the look just to brighten it up first part the inner part of my eye oh look at that oh isn't that just so stunning look so for a brow bone highlight i want to go in with overheat this shimmer here I'm not going to spray the brush for this because it is just for under my brow brow bone highlight oh oh this is pretty this would make a really nice inner corner highlight as well but 
so I wanted to I wanted to use as many as I could in this video oh my god I can't wait to see Marina's look I wonder which one she's gonna go for there's so many amazing colour options to go with. I'm just wanting to get everything on my eye. On my eye? On my eyes. Now I'm taking it kind of down into the look a little bit. Just because I want to kind of fill that space a little bit. Also, just give another kind of dimension to the look okay and then I'm just going to take that first brush again and I'm just going to go right over the edges yeah to make sure the look kind of blends together nicely oh, this is so pretty can't tell you how excited I am to have this palette. Wow, this has shocked me. Whilst I was excited to play with it and I thought it was just a really put, well put together colour story, I was not prepared for quite how I was going to feel about these, uh, the shimmers in particular. But the mats perform beautifully. It looks a bit silly now, but it will look better once I have tidied things up underneath. I'm loving how that is looking. Right, guys, I'm going to head off and finish my face. And then I will come back to show you the finished look, even though you've already seen it at the beginning. Um, let you know, which I think it's pretty obvious, but let you know what my first thoughts are on the Red Dragon palette. Then just keep on watching. So here I am back with the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Um, I'm just so, so grateful to Marina for wanting to collab with me with this beautiful palette. But before we get into talk of the palette, um, I will just let you know a couple of the things that I've popped on my face. Everything will be listed in the description box below. So sticking with Odin's Eye, I went in with the Alva Flower Blusher in the shade Sweet Tulip. So this one here and I love this so much and also I went into the Solomon um, highlighter palette and I used a mixture of these two here um, I love this so yes let's get on to the palette oh my god look at look at that what a stunning stunning picture um i felt the same about the collab with annette um they've just done such an amazing job with these palettes um the hummingbird i believe the other one is um yeah i now really want that because both the collab with annette and this collab with judy i'm so sorry i have no idea who judy is i think i'm gonna have to look her up and see but the packaging is so beautiful Oh, it's kind of textured and raised in places but yes beautiful and on the inside there is a mirror um, on that side we'll try and take that out and this is the colour story and oh my god isn't it beautiful so for my lower lash line I went in with Aurora just a little bit on the outer edge and then I went in with Jade and I really blew that out on the lower lash line. It is such a stunning shade. And then I went back in with Solar Flare, this one, and I just took that down onto the lower lash line a little bit. Oh my God, these sparkles. 
these I want to call them metallic shimmers whatever they are they are amazing it is it's like magic they're so beautiful so so beautiful both of these two shades here I mean they look a different shade on camera than when I'm looking at them I I don't know how how well it's showing on camera but oh my lord there are only a handful of shades that I haven't tried yet that's sunrise uh, do, 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 claw um, what ones haven't I used um, yin and serene these two mats in the middle there and that's it. I, I've tried so many of the shades in this look. I love the look. I am, oh, I'm living for this look. I also think it's a little bit festive. Let me know what you think. Uh, this palette is absolutely amazing. Oh my God, Marina, thank you so, so much for gifting this to me. You're such a kind woman. I love it so much. I cannot wait to see your look to watch your video which as this is going live i'm going to be watching you so uh super excited for that thank you so much for collabing with me this has been so much fun i do love to collab with with friends which marina is a very very dear friend to me and i love her to bits so yeah if you don't know who she is then head on over there you'll find her channel linked in the description box below and if i get it right also the link to her video um my brain is mush so you will find marina in the description box below linked go click that link head on over show her some love subscribe like comment everything she deserves to have so many more subscribers, so much more love. Um, so yeah, if you haven't already, then head on over and check out Marina. And yeah, that's, I think about everything I have to say. I could ramble on all day, but I'm not going to. So let me know what you think of this look. Do any of you guys have this palette? Um, if so, what do you think of it? Let me know. Let's have a chat in the comment section below. If you are here from Marina's channel, hi, welcome to the Madhouse. Um, I hope you all, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you'll miss the ground. So please do subscribe. It would be lovely to have you along for the ride. Um, my mouth is so dry that my lips are sticking to my teeth, so I'm going to let you all go. Uh, thank you so, so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great weekend, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.